Well, listen, I keep uh, pumping up the Baltimore Ravens as a legitimate Super Bowl contender this year, and I'm not the only one. I'm in great company right now because my main man, number three, Odell Beckham Jr., yesterday talked about how there ain't a weak spot on the Baltimore Ravens lineup right there. I've been around a lot. I know what it takes. I don't think there's a piece missing here to where this team can't be competing for a championship. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've, I've said it for the last two months. This might be the best offense in all football. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I mean, they're deep everywhere. That receiving core got a lot of talent on it on, on all in all phases, like punt returners, kick returners, offensively. Like, they are deep at every position. And Lamar Jackson, I'm expecting a huge year yeah. from him. And because this, to my knowledge, and correct me if I'm wrong, this might be the best array of talent that he's had ever. On offense, oh, yeah. it's not, oh, yeah. close. Close. not even close. Yeah, not even close. So this year is on him to put these guys in position, put these guys in place to be successful. It'll be somewhat easier because he has a lot of playmakers that you can just get him, get the ball in their yep. hands and they can do what they're going to do. But this is, I'm expecting a huge year for this team, and I expect them to be Super Bowl contenders as well. Yeah, and I think they should feel that way too. You have a great coach who's yeah. been there a long time. You've got an MVP uh, quarterback. And now you've got weapons all over the field. So, yes. for those of you that kind of got tired of the plotting, you know, run, run, run type of offense that Baltimore's had for so long, they obviously bring in Todd Munkin to run the offense. But, you know, some teams just bring in a new coordinator and assume the guys they have will just adapt yeah. to what that coordinator wants. Baltimore did two things. They got the new coordinator and they brought in talent yes. that matches what that coordinator does. Definitely. I mean, when you bring, you draft a guy like Zay Flowers, you bring in Odell Beckham, you still have uh, Andrews at the tight end position, uh, you get Bateman back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, uh, when you have the talent around them and uh, you got J.K. Dobbs back in the backfield coming back from injury, so, I mean, you, you get, got the talent around them. Now it's just the point of just putting it all together. You look good on paper. I mean, from top to bottom, you go from running back, you go to quarterback, you go to receivers, tight ends. The off offensive line is going to be good. Uh, on a, then you go to the defensive side, too. So it's just like you have everything on paper. Now, now you get to see what how this offense is going to be in the first mm -hmm. week. Now you're going to see how Lamar is going to be able to work through this offense, where he's going to use his legs more, or he's going to be a more of a passing quarterback. So it's just like now you get to see that and what, how he's going to be using this system, whether he gets outside the pocket, have a running pass read also. Because he's dangerous when he has a running pass read because everybody's going to close up on him, yeah. knowing that he has Zay Flowers, Odell Beckham, Andrew. Scary. And, I mean, it's, it's a crazy it's outfit. Scary. You talk it's about, yeah, about on paper stuff. a lot because they do have the best on paper offense. Mm -hmm. However, we know about the injury concerns here yes, with these players. Dobbins, mm -hmm. Jackson, Bateman has never been healthy. Back and then Odell, Odell Beckham. Yeah. Like, I mean, I hate to say it, right now everyone is healthy, but they do have players that are prone to injury. But right around this time of year, we all kind of look at the league for gambling purposes, and say, which teams can win the Super Bowl? Yes. Right. And they're on that list. There's three teams in the NFC, in my opinion, and there's about five teams in the AFC, in my opinion, and, and the Ravens are definitely on that list. They're not on the outside looking, and they're Super Bowl contender right, yes. right now. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. They've got the pedigree for it. You know, defensively, they got to learn how to close teams out. Yeah, you know, they yeah. blew a bunch of double-digit leads in the fourth year. quarter last year. Yeah. Uh, and you didn't have Lamar Jackson, obviously, the whole year either. But they are going to be a lot of fun to watch. I feel bad for them that they can't beat the Jets. But they will get. Yes, yes. yes. I'm just <laughs> trying, I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. There I don't lie go. to the audience, okay? Like Best kicker in the league. Best kicker in the league. They, listen, all I'm saying is this. We are looking at a collision course in the AFC Championship game of the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets, and that's for real. That's happening right now. Anyhow, from there to the New York Jets, why not? <laughs> What's up? Here's what the show? My, head coach, hey, my head coach, my head coach Robert Sala, who I uh, uh, I love, love Robert Sala, but I do have to acknowledge as much as I love the head coach, he has never had a winning season as the head coach of the New York Jets. But he knows he's got something special in that locker room, starting with number eight, going to Dalvin Cook and Garrett Wilson and the best defense in football. So he's feeling himself a little bit. How about the head coach of the Jets saying, Don't put we ass talk ass about ass. owning, owning, owning the, the East. The East. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. Craig and Crow, let me ask you a question. Do you think last year around this time they were talking about owning the East? No. no. Do you think they, oh, oh, no. 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 Really? Robert Sala was talking about so? owning his parking spot. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was talking about, he was he was about concerned owning about owning the yeah. property yeah. because maybe his job wasn't that secure. He was talking about owning spot. the East. <laughs> uh, I also should say uh, happy birthday, 23 years old today, to the best cornerback. I know you love him, Crow. Uh, Sauce Gardner. Happy birthday, Sauce. In the entire NFL. You're a big fan, yeah? I am a big fan. I love Sauce, man. I just 
think sometimes he's too grabby. Have but, similar, I think, right? but I think sometimes he's just too grabby with his hands. Mm. Yes. That's just that's well, just the honest for, opinion. First newsflash, I can say about every corner in the league. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the it's the Seattle okay. Seattle uh, Seattle Seahawks way. Correct. That's, correct. That's uh-huh. that's what I see. I because mean, I just, D- I just and correct me if I'm wrong. DBs operate in a sense of I'm going to grab you every play because the refs aren't going to call every single one. Yes, right? but it's the opposite of how you grab. If I grab at my hip, at your hips. I'm good. If I grab up here, it's showing too it's much. It, yeah. He's up here too much. I need him to be down here too much. Yeah. Cheat, cheat code is... And we're the same color gloves as a team, but they don't call it. Yeah, that's... that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> Are you allowed to do that? Yes. I, I wear white, white or black gloves. If the other team's wearing white jerseys, you wear white gloves so they don't see the hold. Yes. Oh, I like that. Yes. That's PhD football right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, walk me through this. I, I, when we talked to Robert Sala... Uh, last week, he told me that they teach that. They want him to be very handsy yes. on wide receivers. You want to be handsy, but you don't want your hands Rabbit. to be high. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, because so high, the technique. high they can see. Okay. Low they cannot. I'd rather slap the thigh of a guy, slap the hip right. of a guy, than start, start trying to grab up on the hip or the back of a collar. You don't yeah. want to do that. Yeah, me and Crow used to train a lot together in the offseason. We had the same trainer. And we, when we had, like, one-on-ones, he was a big – and that would bother me. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing down here? <laughs> it's like, like, down, here. It's like, like right? down here. You know what I mean? And I'm running, and he's tapping my thigh. Like, <laughs> Just for the record, it's now official. Antonio Camari said he likes tapping guys' hips. Oh, so, oh, oh, I knew you was coming. Yeah, he he loves you. He said it. And we had microphones and cameras. He said it. And let me say this. Proud of you. It's <laughs> great. It's great. It's great. I can't wait for around here. Nope. Well, uh, listen, uh, Robert Saul says we want to be uh, kings, we want to own the AFC East. Can they? Will they? I, I think they can. I mean, you still got to go through two teams, and that's just that's just realistic. That's, that's the Dolphins, and that's also the Bills. the Bills. And I say that with the Dolphins because when you have a healthy tour, the, the offense is really good. And honestly, it's sometimes unstoppable. Uh, when you have the Bills, when they're clicking and doing the things they're supposed to do offensively and defensively, it's kind of hard to beat. But I think when you look at what we have on that roster, and I said we. Yeah, you play the for the Jets, all good. We, we, can, we can run the East, and, that, and I truly believe that we will this year. Yeah, well, it's interesting about it, and we didn't play for it, but Robert Sala did say, to be fair, you know, the Bills for three straight years have won the division. Mm-hmm. We got to take it from them. Yeah. Right now, it is the Bills' division to lose. 100%. Because respectfully, they've won it for three consecutive years. Uh, and the odds will tell you that most people in Vegas think the Bills are going to win the division. And I think part of that is we just haven't seen the Jets play yet. Yeah, that's the biggest thing for me. And to me, because of that, they're third in the AFC East to me because I see Miami coming back in. Two, uh, and I'm sorry, the a- Jets are third? On paper right now. We, they haven't played a single game yet. Right? Third. Like that, behind the, the Dolphins and the Bills. Behind the Dolphins and the Bills. Right now. <clears throat> That's where I have them. Until they, until they prove it to me. You got to prove it to me. Our, our, I'm not our, just here for preseason uh-huh. games. Come on. They he got the best is. defense in football. Listen, he's all about preseason. Yeah. He's all yes. about preseason. Yeah, but paper translates at some this level, is, right? What, no, level, what, what level? Kindergarten? I don't know. No, paper doesn't translate <laughs> to anything. The games, actual games, win-loss columns, where they at, how they're playing, who they're beating, like that will determine who they are. So this right now, like, today, and, and you're I, going Bills, Dolphins, Jets. Yeah, correct. And, and, and I like this. You got to think about this. When you look at the schedule, you're going to really tell what kind of team the Jets have in the first six weeks. We're going to find yeah. out about your guys' oh, team. Hold on. Right. When you look at the schedule, quickly. we're talking about the Bills and the Jets. Oh, guess what? They play Monday Night Football yeah, yeah. in Week One, yeah. and one of those two franchises, one of those two fan bases, so be is going to feel really good. Yeah. And everyone's going to really question where they're at because if you think about the Bills, all the news this summer has not been positive. Mm-hmm. If you think about the yes. Jets, every single piece of news this summer has been positive, and one of those two is going to flip. Well, look, well, remember, Von Miller's not playing in Week One. I mean, he's not playing in Week Two. He's not playing in Week Three. He's not playing in Week Four either because he's on the pup list. How in the world is are the Buffalo Bills going to put pressure on Aaron Rodgers without their best blitzer? With the, they have great secondary. Well, it's more than just putting secondary. pressure on, on Aaron Rodgers. It's also about we've seen Josh Allen put teams on his back and and win games and pull it out of nothing. And Remember, and the Bills' himself. offensive well, line got yeah. abused by Cincy's defensive line and vice versa. Their lines stink. Yeah, it does. But I'm not worried about the Bills at all. The Bills are a paper tiger. For real. What, what that, That's right. What, that mean? what, that mean? what happened? What does that mean? I started Rocky. I <laughs>
<laughs> hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.